Hello guys and girls, welcome to our third video in this series and this video is going to be about hull down and how you can go hull down. What hull down basically is, is hiding the hull armor and only exposing enough of the turret armor to be able to take the shot and then pull back. The tank on the right is going hull down by climbing up an incline at an angle but not exposing the hull armor and just using the enough turret armor and the gun depression that it gets to take a shot and secondly also by Hiding behind a hot cover like a rock or a dead tank, you can go hold down just like a tank on the left is doing right now. Okay, so to start with, let's have a slow down example of a T34 going all down. And as you will see in this, how strong the turret is, it's all red and it's all impenetrable. And it doesn't extend much, it doesn't come forward much, so it doesn't expose its hull armor at all. Only the turret armor and the gun depression to take a shot at me and then pull back. Same is the case in this scenario, as the D34 is working the ridge at another spot and not exposing any of his hull armor, and only exposing the strongest turret armor and using his fantastic gun depression to be able to take a shot at me. The thing to watch out when going hull down is to be precise in it so you don't expose any of the hull armor or you're going to be penalized for that. And if any of you is having difficulty penning an American heavy tank gone hull down, aim for the commander's cupola at the top. Okay, so the next tank that we're going to show you how to go hull down is the Shuren 7 Mark 1. And actually the principle of going hull down remains the same, no matter if it's a heavy tank or if it's a medium tank. Because as you can see, it's still the same thing. The Century 7 has a strong turret armor and we're using it. And it's negative 10 degrees of gun depression to be able to put shots into the enemy team without taking shots in because the Russian medias they don't have that much gun depression as you can see right now but I can't put my gun down on the Centurion 7 but Centurion can take shots at me so that's what basically hull down is like hiding behind a hill or a ridge and not exposing your hull armor at all only exposing side bit of the turret armor to be able to peek and take a shot in the enemy time without taking damage back in but as every tank has its weak point, the Centurion 7's top plate of the turret is not that strong and it will be like a 50-50% chance. You might get pinned sometimes, but sometimes you might bounce off it. So yeah, watch out when going hull down. The key to going hull down properly is constantly moving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth so that the enemy can't aim at your weak spots at the top of the turret. My personal favorite tank for going hull down would be the ST1. As you can see it yourself, it's darn, it's just amazing for going hull down in situations like these. You just have to be blind to not like the turn on the ST1. It's just amazing in bouncing shots and holding a line like that. And that is what actually hull down is for me, holding a line without taking much damage so when you have to move in to clear the enemy team in the end you have your hit points on your side to take the risk. Hull down doesn't necessarily involve gun depression tanks. You can also go hull down using tanks like the Russian heavies or the mediums. They can hide behind a small ridge. They only expose the strong turret armor and hide the hull armor. So it actually depends on what tanks you're using and its gun depression angle that you have to find the proper spots on maps for going hull down in those tanks. HE shells on such scenario, or like only if you have a high caliber gun, can be very effective in situations like these as we mentioned in our previous video about ammunition. Go check it out if you have any confusion or need any information about ammunition. In 
If you have a chance of pinning a tank like in this scenario, which is going hull down but still exposes a slight bit of his armor, but you're having difficulty aiming for that weak spot, just turn the auto aim off and set the shot up and wait for the tank to drive into your circle and press the fire button as soon as he's into it. Hull down with Russian mediums is the same as going hull down with Russian heavies like the IS-7 and the ST-1 but you just have to be more quick and expose your turn for a little less cause the turn down the Obj-140 compared to the T-62A is a little weak and can be penetrated by anyone who knows what to do. But the Russian mediums get the advantage of their low profile to the ground in successfully hiding their hull armor cause it's so low to the ground. Another way for going hull down in situations when you're like out in the open and being rushed by enemy tank is to basically find any kind of hot cover you can like maybe a rock or maybe a dead tank and to hug it. So your front armor is hidden and you're only exposing the turret to put shots into the enemy tank that's coming for you. Just like T30 in this example is doing right now. Like I can only aim for the weak spots at the top of the turret which are very difficult to pin if the T30 keeps on moving and it doesn't stop for me. Hopefully you all know now what hull down is and how to yourself go hull down or deal with tanks going hull down. Thanks for watching guys and as usual, see you on the battlefield. Good luck.